obviously the results still need to be published they still have a lot of number crunching to do um, and a lot of work to do on the study but preliminarily preliminarily keep it quirky hello today Beth took part in an autism study the one we were talking about last week um, which I will link in the description below if you've not seen that video but we did it. We actually did it. It was fantastic. I learnt quite a bit. I'm actually a psychology student with the Open Uni at the moment. So for me to take part in these studies is super interesting. But it's also really lovely to give back to um, the autism community and science and to help try and bring research forward with that. So that was fantastic. A great opportunity to be able to contribute. So. We went down to Canterbury and we went to the, the University of Kent in Canterbury and took part in the study. Then we went into town for a little bit of lunch and finished with some shopping. And because we knew we were doing all that, William didn't come with us. Obviously for William, being in a city, especially just before Christmas when the crowds are so heavy, it's really heaving then there is no way he's going to cope with that. So he was looked after today. Just the three of us went down, Beth, myself and my partner, and we took part in the study and I actually got some footage of her taking part in the study, only a little bit, but there was some footage and um, I did actually vlog my day. Now, bear with me, I only did it on my phone because it's the only portable camera I have, so forgive the horrible footage but here is our day say hello are we ready to go do some science yes we are we ready we're ready William forgot to take himself any lunch round to my mum's which is where he's staying today and uh, I've just had to quickly run round there to uh, take his lunch which uh, he forgot <laughs> He also doesn't like to wear a coat or anything like that. Um, he just much prefers just being in one layer. So I have, um, uh, well, I was gonna say I, I took his coat round as well, but I didn't. He did actually take that, but I had to nag and nag and nag for him to take that. Um, so yes, we are just leaving. We are finally in the car, Sean's just inside grabbing something and we are finally, finally off to do some science! Now streaming on Facebook! <laughs> <laughs> So we have just arrived and I have just realised that I've been filming the wrong way up most of this time. Woo! Dropping the bag. Got it! Okay. And uh, just getting the bag on the push chair. But we are here.
pop up balloon. <laughs> So we're just in Canterbury having some lunch, uh, we've finished the study, I will update you when I get home because it's a bit noisy here. Numbers in the jungle. Half time fun. First, you must taste it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we're finally home. So just arrived back, made a quick cup of coffee, decided to film this now while I still remember it. Um, but there's so much buzzing around in my head and I'm so tired. Let's hope I don't trip over my words too much while I'm filming this. So as you saw, we took part in the study. Beth took part in the study. Um, I didn't get too much footage because it wasn't really appropriate to do that. I didn't really feel 100% comfortable just filming it, um, but I tried to get some sneaky little bits here and there. The study, taking part in it, all took it, it took about an hour in all. First of all, the lady took us into a room and discussed with us what was actually going to happen and explained the, the study that she was doing and she explained to us now I'm not as good as explaining this as she was obviously it's her work but um, it's the way they're advancing the science is that they're actually looking at how children interact with more realistic movement of faces so I think what she meant was that they were showing the child Im not just flat still images of different emotions they're showing children um, videos of um, humans that they can the the infants can then interact with so if the infant maintains eye contact the face will change the person might look to their side or they will close their eyes um, depending on how that infant um, focuses in on that image so that's really interesting I think I've got that right but what was super 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 interesting to me was that um, the lady did explain that so far in her study she's found that um, or they have found because it's not just one person they have found that um, it a lot of infants up until 12 months do develop neurotypically even those in high risk groups so that's fascinating it might be that um, problems don't really occur certainly with facial interaction and, and most notably eye contact because that's where the study was really sort of honing ho honing honing in on um, rather than looking at autism as a whole they were just looking at that area um, so they have found that children under the age of around 12 months do tend to develop neurotypically in that area which is just fascinating obviously the results still need to be published they still have a lot of number crunching to do um, and a lot of work to do on the study but preliminarily 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 something like that <laughs> um, they they think that um, there's no signs with eye contact yet now Beth Beth has got to go back when she's nine months old and when she's 12 months old and they will do the same testing again to see if there's any deterioration in 
her ability to maintain eye contact and to she was actually she was sitting in the seat and she was trying to get the the images that she was seeing which was all pre-recorded she was trying to get them to interact with her she was talking to them which was fascinating to see it was it was so interesting um, I hope you enjoyed the the rough kind of footage that I filmed on my phone and that it was actually acceptable. <sighs> my battery just died, so that was fun. I would love to know if anyone else found that they had suspicions about their child before they were 12 months old or if you outrightly knew that they had autism or you knew that something was different about them but you didn't quite know what or if you didn't know anything at all, if you had no suspicions, that would be really interesting to me to, to hear from other people um, about that. There is more videos coming on the subject. Beth is going back when she's six months old. No, she's six months old now. She's going back when she's nine months old and when she's a year old as well to take part in this study and she's taking part in the other one when she's two. So that's brilliant, there will be more. If you found this video useful, there's lots more coming. So on all sorts of aspects of autism and how it's impacted us as a family. So if you found it really useful, please subscribe. I don't know if you found it useful or not unless you subscribe or you like the video. So do something, that would be amazing. So let me know your experiences in the comments and let me know if there are any other videos you'd like me to make. Take care. Bye. Ah, <sighs> so my video just died on my battery. No. <laughs> I'm so tired. My battery just died on my camera. <laughs> I give up now. <laughs>